everybody. I'm Candice Fields, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today, we are making a card using the um, using the technique called is an eclipse card. This is not my original idea. Um, this card is being cased from fellow Stampin' Up! demonstrator, Tammy White. And so, this is just my take on that card. Um, by the way, if I sound a little bit funny, it's because I had a root canal done today, so my face is still a little bit numbed. So this is the card that we are making. And if I've already stamped the inside of the card, because I have to make several of these. And for this project, you will need two pieces of Whisper White. You're going to need one for the inside and then one for the outside. And it's going to be cut down to four by five and a quarter. Your card base is going to be um, di Dapper Denim. And that's a regular A2 size card. The ink is... Um, Smoky Slate, Dapper Denim, and Crushed Curry. The, um, you will need the large letters framelits. I'm using J, O, and Y to make a joy. And then the stamp set I'm using is the Night in Bethlehem set. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with the Smoky Slate ink. Okay. And I'm just going to stamp. Okay, and so then you do want to make sure your paper is straight. I'm just going to come in and I'm going to stamp it right about here. Okay, then I'm going to use Dapper Denim. for my people images. So I'm gonna start off with this Mary. Let me make sure this is cleaned off. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure that this has really good coverage. Okay, and I'm going to stamp them right about there. Okay, then I'm going to use this one here. Now I'm trying to tap lightly because usually I just dump it in there and I have ink all around. Okay. stamp this one right about there okay now using the crushed curry and I'm sorry if you hear talking in the background my mom's here my daughter's home Some of this ink off. Okay, so I'm going to do the star and crushed cherry. And right there. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to move these off to the side somewhere. 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my magnetic platform. Okay, make sure that this is straight. Okay. And so I'm filming a video right now. Okay, I'm filming a video right now. Okay, so I'm do that. I think it's funny how, no, your kids don't never want you until you're doing something. And I heard it tell my mom that I was filming a video. But yet she comes up here anyway. Anybody else kids says that? Okay. Alright. So I'm going to just, oh. So I just really want to make sure that I have this lined up. Oh, I'm sorry, woman. Andrea. Andrea. Yeah. I'm going to need you to cut, turn that down. I just want to make sure that this is lined up and straight. Okay. So now we're going to bring out the big shot. This is actually my second time filming this part. Um, well, not this part, but I had somebody call me when I was doing my introduction. And I always think it's funny. Every time I get ready to start crafting, that's when people call me. And I don't know why, but it irritates me because it, ne it never fails. I don't get to be in my classroom often. So it kind of irritates me is when people decide that's when they want to talk to me. Is when I finally want to do crafts. You know, and it's not like it's a quick call. It's one of those, I'm going to be on the phone for an hour type of call. So I didn't even bother to take the call. No. I wonder if that happened to anybody else. It's like, it never fails. Excuse me, I'm a little stuffy. Okay. And then, boom. There we go. Okay. So now I have my piece of dapper denim that is already scored. trying to get in there and get a really good crease on there. So I'm going to take my piece right here. Add some adhesive across the top and the bottom. Okay. So now for this piece here, I do recommend, uh, recommend that you add, give yourself enough adhesive especially around the, um, the letters. I feel like I'm running out and that's because I am running out. Okay. So now I'm going to add this right there. Okay. So now, let's see, I almost lost that. 
we're gonna use the mini Stampin' Dimensionals. Sorry for my sniffles. So, I do recommend using the minis. If you don't have the mini and you got the regular size dimensionals, that's okay. You're just gonna have to um, cut them down. And I will say, you will need a lot. Because you want these to, um, to stay down. Now, I do strategic, strategically place my dimensionals where I do. Because when I go to put them on here, I like having some room to press down so I know um, that I am in the space. It's already on there, so oh well. And then I do cut down. going everywhere except for where I wanted to go. Okay. Okay, so let's start with this here. So I don't have any dimensions right there, so that's where I usually like to do my starting point. So make sure that everything lines up. So I hope everybody enjoyed their Thanksgiving. I know I did. I stayed at home this year, um, mainly because I had to work. And I mean, my family's not that far away, but I don't like being on the highway for long periods of time, mainly because I have narcolepsy. And so instead of dealing with that this year, I just stayed home and my mom actually came up to me and stuff. So she's still here because she took me to go get my root canal done. And... And so then, um, she actually goes back home tomorrow. Okay, let's see if I have any more adhesive on here. Okay. So then I will line this up. Make sure it matches, and it does, before I press it in. Okay, and then we all we got to do is the Y and the ribbon, and then we're done.
Okay. And now, let's just get some ribbon here. Now this ribbon here, this is um old ribbon from the last um 2017 occasions catalog. Um I, I, I needed to add something to this card and for some reason um I really I had this ribbon left over and I really liked it, so I used that. I love how that turned out. That is a pretty bow right there. Actually, I'm just going to cut from down here. Because the bow is upside down. For some reason, when I do my bows, they always turn up upside down. But because the way I have this, I can just flip it. So then the last thing is just adding a glue dot using the back of a paintbrush. I do want to make sure that this is where we're going to add that glue dot. Let's see. Right back there. quick really simple it really doesn't take that long to do so if you liked any um if you like any of the um products that i use please visit my store my online store to pick up these products so you can make your own eclipse card and thank you for joining me today bye bye